Sergeant. Dad's here this morning, he started cupping. He's back. Okay, well, we'll uh, get him over some cows, eh? Just ticking along well in here this morning. The girls are still milking. Been up and down. Dad's washing the yard. Hey, Dad! How you feeling? Back to normal. Good. Well, he's still getting over it. There you go. Mackenzie and Dallas are here today with Tessa. And Dad's just bringing in the last row. Two cows in this row. They're not in here yet. But I've just done the double ups, so we go see how we're going out there. Oh, we've got one more double up here. Doesn't look ready. Nearly. There we go. Bring in the meat. We are all washed up. And it's just finished washing the yard. Good girl, Mackenzie, you're doing a great job. She's cleaning them better than I do. Good girl, Munchkin. Right in there. Dallas is just circling Grandad. Kill Mackenzie. Good girl, you're doing an awesome job. Gotta get all the cow poos off, eh? Hey? Yep, we gotta take them back down the farm, eh, Mackenzie? Hey, Dallas. They ran down the farm and must have jumped in with them because they weren't in here yesterday. <laughs> so, there we go. Okay, we sorted. Feed them up. They had to feed them up. Take them back down and get weaned off again. Okay. Right, let's go. Let's go fill up again and go feed the ones next door. Yeah, we know these ones aren't from that paddock because they got blue bums, yellow bum, and one without a yellow bum, but has got a high enough tag number. So they're weaned off. Pretty. We're rolling out. Go feed some coveys. Yeah, just on to feeding the second mob. Granda's loading up with the meal for the other mob. Just is trying not to run calves over. 25 little coveys. And those ones eating their meal, happy as. Pellets. pellets. They're on pellets now. How'd they go with their meal? Finished it. Oh yeah, I've eaten quite a bit. Still got hay. Our little sickly friend here is drinking. She's good, she needs all the help she can get. There we go. Hello, you. Right, we're uh, just finished feeding them their meal, their two bags, and we will go and uh, four bags, four bags, and uh, we will go and uh, yeah. Wait for me, Tessa. I'm getting chased here. Let's go back. You can put the mac in the bucket, Kenzie. Dallas, we don't want them on. You can put the mac in the bucket. Well, that's all right. Uncle Carl's going to clean it today. We'll put the hot water through the uh, vat, then we'll wash those out. That just needs a rinse because it didn't get used at all. And the other two will need a real good wash, other three. 
the other calves are going on to the big cafeteria, eh, Tessa? Yes. Awesome. All right, we'll see you, Tessa. Yeah. Have a good day. Drive around looking at the paddocks. Dad wanted to come down and see the bulls. He's happy, growing well. Breakfast. Hey, good to have you back. Spit me up by about an hour by the look of it. Two, I'd say. Two. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Just washing the vet. And I'm just uh, got hot water from washing the vet. I'm gonna be washing these out. Clean them up properly. Get them suited. Up. Easy peasy. We're just gonna put those away now. And then we'll go fix this fence with the calves. Got more than five minutes to fix because uh, the calves come down and also I put a new little tape underneath there. Right across the bridge so you can see it now. And I had to put up that wire because that wire dropped down as time so it was broken off because that insulator broke. But it should be good now. It'll hold so I can come down and fix it when your calves aren't annoying me. I think we'll call it the day there. The rain's starting to roll in. I'll see you all at milking tonight. Go down in the ute because it is raining, and uh, yeah, best way to not get wet. Afternoon, ladies. Yeah, I had to drive the ute in because it's only a small entryway, just wide enough for two utes to go past each other, but not wide enough for about 10 cows to pass the ute. Let's we'll get in, we'll just go around, check the drain and get the milk. Here's our uh, empty carryovers, all eight, happy ass, in the stock bank. Still eight there, so that's a good sign. Because uh, if there's seven or six, then I'd be very worried. Girls look like they've had a good feed today. All got full guts, so that's the way. So we go and milk them now, they're... Um, Looking quite well. We've seen another 5.8 today, considering the weather we've had the last few days, which is really good. What in the third row? Fourth row, sorry. Oh, girls, up we go. Way quicker with Dad. About twice as fast. Come on. Hey, Dad, did you get crapped on your shoulder? Yeah, I'm going home. I'm playing sick. It all wet. <laughs> right. Yeah, we'll load up with our square bale of hay. Just skip past the ute here. Ready. All right, let's go. Dad's back. He's down there feeding the calves their meal, and so that's gonna say so probably be home by about half past five tonight. So a little bit earlier than seven o'clock the other night. Awesome. Shows you how much an extra person does help during milking. Speeds up milking at least half an hour to forty-five minutes. Good girl. Hello, Swally. That's the one that we treated at Granddad's place for woolly tongue. Swollen uh, jaw. But we're just uh, cutting our strings off. And we'll gather them up. There you go. Out our bale of hay, we're just gonna dodge the cows and we'll head on out. A lot of grass in here, girls are happy. Eat their hay, I put the hay up on the high ground. This paddock is quite low and could get wet down this end here. Let's carry on and let's head on home. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the morning. Thank you. That's what dad meant when he said he was gonna feed them. You put them, put their food in the, um, put their bloody milk in that little container there. Oh, that'll work. They're drinking it. Most of them have had a good feed.